Hi friends, in today's master class we are going to be studying the anatomy of the external iliac artery. This is important because this is one of the most important branches which trespasses the pelvis. So I will draw for you the vertebra and then it leads into the sacral promontory. Sacral promontory through the bony architecture is going to cross like this through the iliac crest. So we are not demonstrating the iliac crest as it is not going to be properly demonstrated. But you must understand that common iliac vessel close to the level of the sacral promontory would split and continue as the external iliac artery and a branch would go down in the pelvis which is called as the internal iliac artery. The reason why I am drawing this in dotted lines is because that is the branch which goes below. So here you have the sacral promontory and the sacrum bones which have gone down. Okay. This is in the depth of the pelvis which is why I am drawing it as dotted lines. But you should understand this external iliac artery then exits through the pelvis close to the region of the inguinal ligament. So I'll just draw the inguinal ligament here and the external iliac artery would cross and continue as the femoral artery below. Now just before it crosses here, it gives out a branch which ascends inside the roof and this branch which it gives off here is basically the epigastric artery which is the inferior epigastric artery. Now this is important to understand because in laparoscopy the inferior epigastric artery is going to form the lateral margin of the rectus abdominis muscle and you have to be careful about a damage to this artery while putting ports in laparoscopic surgery. So that is something which you need to be careful about in laparoscopy. Apart from this if you now try to notice it is the external iliac which actually very very importantly doesn't give any major branch in the pelvis. This is a very very important point which you should try and understand. Okay, simultaneously please try and understand as a part of the external iliac artery you will have something which is in very close proximation to the external iliac artery and I'm drawing it in yellow color because that is going to be your genito femoral nerve. Okay, it's important to understand this. Simultaneously, please note that you will have a large external iliac vein usually overlying and just approximately medial to the external iliac artery in a normal anatomy and obviously when you look at this anatomy there will be this fibro fatty collection of tissue which is present surrounding the external iliac artery and the external iliac vein which are predominantly your lymphatics okay so this is the picture which you are going to see inside especially when you dissect the external iliac and before we close one final structure which you will see lateral to the external iliac is going to be your psoas muscle. Alright, so this part is going to form your psoas muscle. It is going to come from above and it is going to form the lateral part of the external iliac artery. This applied anatomy, when you go through our videos of pelvic lymphadenectomy, you will be able to now correlate it very, very easily. In our next sessions, we will include more sessions on anatomy, especially the way in which we are drawing the anatomy and explaining so that it makes your understanding nicer and better. Thank you so much.